The NYPD has to get more aggressive. Period. Period. If you're going to force me into a position where I have to mandate it and make it a law, a social distancing law that uh, would, which I think is absurd, but it has to be enforced. First, how reckless and irresponsible and selfish for people not to do it on their own. I mean, what else do you have to know? What else do you have to hear? Who else has to die for you to understand you have a responsibility in this? just really uh, so incredible, especially New Yorkers who live in a dense environment and know how interdependent they are on one another, right? And this is a situation where one person sneezes and uh, I get infected. So our own social responsibility, the individual responsibility, the civic duty. My PD and the New York City Police Foundation announced the purchase of 150,000 masks, gloves, and packets of hand sanitizer. The sp supplies were bought by the Police Foundation with the help of donors. The Sony Corporation will also donate masks on top of the 150,000 that have been purchased. Supplies are expected to ship in the next few days. But beyond that, yeah, we are going to need law enforcement to get more aggressive. New York City alone, there are more than 300 members of the police force with COVID-19. Hundreds more are waiting on tests and thousands have called in sick. The percentage of the NYPD and the FDNY is now calling out sick. It's next man and next woman up in terms of replacing people that have reported sick. NYPD people are getting sick. They will get sick. FDNY people, firefighters will get sick. They will get sick. Uh, the backfill will come from state police, and we're working on that. State police already have total jurisdiction within New York City. Uh, second, we could deputize police officers from upstate communities to serve in New York City. The city is assembling an additional 600 officers to help with growing demands, including overflowing hospitals to cover and a surge of 911 calls.